Gone but not forgotten. Five popular things of the 1960s. Number 1. Fallout Shelters During the Cold War, folks were scared of a nuclear attack, and lots of them built fallout shelters in their backyards to be safe. These underground bunkers were meant to keep people away from radiation and fallout if a nuclear bomb hit. They were all over the place, and you could even get instructions and booklets to help you make one. In the 60s, things between the US and the Soviet Union were tense. But by the late 60s, stuff calmed down enough for folks to feel like they didn't need to build bunkers anymore, or at least that they weren't as scared as before. Number 2. 3D Movies 3D movies became all the rage, attracting many people to their local movie theaters. These films provided special glasses that made images on the screen appear lifelike and immersive. However, this trend didn't last long due to the high cost of production and audience fatigue with the gimmick by the mid-1960s. Number 3. Drive-In Movie Theaters During the 50s and 60s, drive-in movie theaters were all the rage. Families would park their big cars, like sedans or station wagons, and enjoy a film while being served delicious snacks from the snack bar right to their car. Teenagers also loved drive-ins, and it became a part of the car culture that was popular during that time. As technology advanced in the 60s, and households began to have color TVs, drive-ins saw a decline in popularity. By the 70s, they had started disappearing, as people opted for indoor theaters with better picture and sound quality. Number 4. Milkman During the 60s, most families in the U.S. got their milk delivered right to their doorstep by a milkman. These dudes would bring fresh milk and glass bottles that could be reused. This was a time when kitchen gadgetry was changing, and grocery stores were morphing into super groovy markets which meant that milk became just another thing you could grab for yourself. The fresh milk that used to come straight to your pad was swapped for the convenience of buying it in cartons, which led to a major decline in home milk delivery. Number 5. Soda Fountains In the 60s, soda fountains were the cool hangout spot to grab a refreshing drink with your friends. These counters were found in stores, and manned by a talented soda man who would expertly mix up sodas with carbonated water and stirs. Soda fountains were the place to be in small towns, where folks would catch up on gossip and chat about the weather, before fast food joints became all the rage. Nowadays, you won't find many soda fountains around, because people prefer grabbing canned or bottled drinks on the go. This change in beverage culture caused most soda fountains to disappear by the end of the decade. <laughs>